Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about forms in Angular. See, in Angular we have two types of form. First one is reactive form. Another one is template driven form. And this is basically a theoretical part. Here we will discuss how a developer can decide which kind of form they need to use when they are building any functionality in Angular. All right. And with that we will check some scenarios and example like where we have to use reactive form and where we have to use template driven form. And at last we will check differences between reactive and in template driven form depending on the features and functionalities. All right. So let's start with the very basic question. What are the forms and some examples where we can use forms. So forms are basically collection of input input field uh, and they are basically used to capture the information from a user uh, and with the help of any event that event can be on change or maybe click event any event can be used all right uh, and some examples are here where we can use the form first one is login sign up and maybe email subscription or maybe when you want to insert or update data in the database that time we can use the forms and that could be in the any form maybe uh, for if you want to store the student data employee data company data in all the scenarios we have to use form when we are storing or updating data in the database all right so now the question is when we should use reactive forms and when we should use template driven form and what is the definition of them so to check this let's move to the official website of angular so in the browser let's search for forms in angular you can click on the first link and there uh, is a basic information they are telling that uh, forms are basically used to get the information from user profile or any sensitive information and we have two types of form uh, which, I, which i told you which is reactive and template driven both are basically used to capture the information from the user but what are the key differences and how we can choose see reactive forms are little bit complex and they are more, more scalable, reusable and testable, right? So when uh, you have a large amount of data, when you have lots of input field and you have to put lots of validation, that time you can use reactive forms. But in case of template driven forms, they are the simple forms. And when you have such a small form uh, fields, maybe one input field or two input field or three uh, with the very simple data, and without very uh, with very simple validation that time you can basically use template driven forms and let me show you okay so let me give you some example so let's say if you need to if a user need to fill the information for uh, maybe uh, employment or maybe for job that time he have to give the information for college and address and previous companies salaries and everything so that will be a very complex data with a large input field, uh, a large amount of input field and uh, uh, large validation. That time you can use reactive form. But let's say you want to log in or maybe you want to subscribe the email. In that scenario, you can use the template driven form. Okay, so let's check the differences. So we will check the four differences. Uh, setup for form module, data model, data flow and form validation. So maybe you are not about uh, uh, you are not aware about each of thing. Maybe synchronous and asynchronous. Maybe directives and maybe immutable. Don't worry. When we will work separately uh, on the reactive and the template driven part, uh, template driven form uh, form. Because in the coming time we will uh, make separate videos on these topics. Right. That time I will explain each and everything. But now let's check the basic things. So when uh, we are using the reactive form they are basically created with the component classes and template driven forms are basically used uh, uh, is created with the directives and if you are talking about the data model uh, in reactive form data model is more structured and this is immutable immutable means you cannot change once you define this and in case of template driven uh, data is unstructured but this is mutable you can change it data flow uh, we know that uh, when we are working with the front end and the ui data could be asynchronous and data could be the synchronous uh, however we want to achieve the uh, you can say that functionalities so in reactive form the data is synchronous but in template driven form data flow is asynchronous 
For form validation, we basically use functions in case of reactive and directive in case of template driven. So this is all about uh, uh, what is the difference use cases of the reactive and template driven form and in next part we'll see how we can use the reactive form all right thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thanks everyone